Alrighty, well, first Blood Mountain of the year. The season, the bike. <laughs> and it's the first time for a lot of the guys following me. We're doing the first run up, so we're gonna be taking it a little slow. So yeah, this is my first ride up Blood Mountain of this year. This is actually, I think, the first time I've been back since I've uh, been uh, since I wrecked. So this is really exciting for me. I'm with a group of guys that haven't done mountains yet. So, um, or most of us haven't. There's five of us and two of them are brand new to, to mountain riding, so kind of give them giving giving them their introductory course and I'm trying to keep it really slow so they can uh, get used to the the angle of the turns but um I guess I, I figured I'd try to do a vlog while I'm up here talk about you know group rides and kind of safety maneuvers um, with a group ride, you're always going to have varying skill levels. And uh, one important thing you need to do when you're uh, in a group ride is make sure you're aligned properly. And what I mean by aligned is have your positioning of skill level uh, correct to kind of minimize uh, danger and whatnot. Ideally, you want the person that knows the road and is the more experienced person in the front so they know when to slow down for the entire group and when to, you know, we, when you can speed up a little bit. And uh, in the back, you also want an experienced person because if somebody in the middle, which is where you put the more novice riders, um, if somebody in the middle, if something happens to them, you have an experienced person in the back, you know, to help them out. Uh, for this ride, I'm leading the front, and we've got I am Ramekin in the very back. Uh, he's rode this road a couple couple times, so he's aware of where we're going. But uh, the guys in the middle have never ridden a mountain road, so they don't really know what the deal is. So I'm trying to keep it nice and calm, so they don't freak out about any of these turns. That's also why I said the thing about the vlogging because I'm in such a low gear it's it's not really gonna really matter because you'll be able to hear me over the bike easily <laughs> even my bike <laughs> um, but yeah positioning is really important with group rides also something that I notice on a lot of group rides that I wish didn't happen is guys tend to show off around each other and girls, I'm, I don't know if you do too, but I'm just speaking for guys because I am one. Um, but I've seen a lot of group rides. You have a couple guys that try to show off. And, uh, a, you know, a group ride is just not a good time to show off. You know, anytime you have a large amount of people, you don't need to show off because that just increases the odds of somebody getting really hurt in the group. Yeah, the more people, obviously, the better odds you have of somebody getting hurt. So. Um, in group rides, try not to show off. Try not to be the fastest guy because, you know, you get adrenaline pumping with all these other riders and you want to go fast and stuff, but group rides should be a lot more chilled out than solo rides and, you know, you got to save something for the track, right? Um, I'm really bad about this if you watch my old videos. You know, I'm, I'm the type of guy where I go to the mountains and I normally just, like, go balls to the wall. Um, I'm trying to hold back on that. I'm trying to save a lot of it for the track. So uh, that's what I'm, that's like one of my New Year's things is to uh, don't put everything out on the street because the street is just not a good place to wreck. You know, wreck too many times, uh, and really, I don't want to do that anymore. You know. Also, I don't have uh, race rails on Holly yet, so I'm trying to keep her <laughs> keep her upright today. But yeah, guys, just, you know, stuff like that about group rides. And uh, also, if you're the more experienced rider, 
and you're riding with a group of newer guys or you know maybe they just haven't been to the mountain yet it's always good to stop right before the roads get pretty technical and just kind of have a little conversation about who's at what skill level you know and how much experience do you have stuff like that we're pretty lucky here we have a slightly technical road that leads to the mountain and right before the mountain is a gas station so we always stop at the gas station and you know i can get a consensus i'm like all right how did you guys feel what turns did you not feel you know comfortable on and you got to stress to the guys you know right in your comfort zone um, that's how wrecks happen is you you go out too far outside of your comfort zone a little mistake happens and you, and you can't recover from that so uh, that's one of the key things I try to uh, that's one of the key things I try to really push hard when I'm talking to these guys is you know don't try to impress people uh, don't try to ride outside of what you feel you're safe doing because it you know you you get out here and the roads are awesome and you do you know want to start riding hard you know it happens or at least happened with me so you know just be careful with that stuff make sure they know to do that you know and you got to look out for your fellow rider because these guys they don't know they don't know to expect this big ass turn um, but I'm double tapping my brakes a lot to let them know that turns are serious and I'm trying to keep us all at a really slow pace so they can kind of just get a taste of uh, what these turns are and I told them if it turns really bad, I'm going to try to tap my brakes so that they know to slow it a little bit down. Because, man, some of these turns, like this one, with these varying level changes, it can be rough if you're a new guy. You know, it's always... Also, this is our first run up this mountain, so we're kind of testing the road for gravel and stuff. That's another thing uh, that I... That's another thing that I uh, want to talk about was, you know... When you go on a mountain ride, it's not a track. You know, nobody's here cleaning the roads. So it's up to you to kind of check the roads out. So always do an up and down check of uh, what the roads look like, where the gravel is on the road, and, you know, if there's a wreck, if there's cops hanging out. These are just stuff to know. You don't want to learn this stuff in a mid-turn, you know, when you're pushing yourself. So uh, when I lead a group, we always go up one time real slow. We go up another time, uh, we go down real slow. Yeah, this is a serious turn. But uh, yeah, we go up real slow, down real slow. And then after that, I'm like, all right, we can go at our own paces now. And then whatever happens, happens. But uh, it's just stuff to be really important and care about when you ride with new guys, because a lot of people, you know, they wreck one time and then they don't want to come back. You know, and then they're, they've ruined the whole, like, they might not ride because of that type thing. Like this, like, stupid shit. These guys, those guys are obviously going way too fast. Um, those guys are on cruiser type bikes. They don't need to be going that fast up this hill. But see, that's the type of thing I told these guys beforehand. I was like, hey... You're going to have guys fly past you because we're going to be going slow today. Don't worry about it. It's going to happen. The first time somebody flew past me on a bike, I was terrified. I, it was scared the shit out of me. Loud ass muffler and shit. Wasn't cool. Uh, so just, you know, try to prepare them as much as you can. Uh, <laughs> try not to scare them. There's a lot of turns on this road that uh, Ramekin and I were like, there's, there's, some, there's some serious shit. You know, just be really careful. Uh, and you could tell they were listening to it like, well, shit, I'm going to die. <laughs> uh, and as long as you're prepared, it's, uh, it's not bad. You know, as long as you try to prepare them. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try to focus on writing now. And I just wanted to get a little vlog out kind of while I'm here. So I could, you know, better leave, uh, detail what I'm doing and what's going on. Instead of just doing some vlog <laughs> riding around Atlanta. Um, but yeah, guys, just be safe out there riding. We've... The motorcycle community has already had its fair share of wrecks this year, so just be safe out there. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go teach these guys how to ride on the mountain. <laughs> uh, bye, guys.
That felt okay? Okay. So you saw the two turns at the end that were really crazy? Okay.